Hello YouTube, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to my videos. Um, I'll talk today about uh, junk you can collect, like, like junk release, DVDs, video players, things like that, and how people just throw them away. Well, I tend to keep mine and actually take them apart, take out what I need, and then throw them away after that. Um, I'm going to show you something today, which is uh, parts of a DVD player. I mean, when you take these things apart, there's a whole host of treasures inside them. I mean, you've got high voltage capacitors, always a handy thing to have, um, heat sinks, um, transformers, um, loads of um, copper enameled wire inside there, you can either use these as they are to make a project or you can take them apart and take all the copper wire out because copper wire is quite expensive really to buy a reel of that. Um, you've got these beautiful um, 5 watts, I've got two of them actually in here, 5 watts um, uh, 470 ohm resistors. They're quite expensive to buy um, from electronic shops. Um, you know, fuse holders, always handy in some sort of projects you want. Um, you've got resistors, all that hold different capacitors. Diodes, they're always a handy little device to use in most projects. Um, you've also got the, um, the laser part so that reads the disc. This one I ripped apart because I was after a certain thing, actually. I was really after uh, a, the magnet, which is called a neodymium magnet. Now I've got it over here, I'm just trying to separate off another piece of magnet I've got at the moment. Uh, get it in a second. Um, these things are so bloody powerful, these neomedium magnets. Right, I've got it. This little baby here. It's uh, very small in size. Very powerful little magnet. That could be always be handy for any sort of projects you're after. Um, see that that was inside with the uh, lenses for the um, for the actual laser part. Um, what else you got? You got uh, you got you got switches. Really handy little volume switch I'm going to use there. You got micro switches as well, which you can desolder quite easily to use on most projects. Um, you've got uh, say so you got your heat sinks I told you about already. They're always handy. You can desolder them, use them for some projects. So just if you get like these sort of things, DVD players are no longer working. I mean connections here, you can take these, solder these for any projects you want to make a power bench power supply perhaps, really handy tool so if you do get things like this, you know, DVD players and video recorders, just take them apart take out what you need, desolder it and keep them in a safe place until you need them um, yeah, take care everybody, hope you enjoyed the video hope it helps some people, and take good care now ta-da